Hi there, this is Benjamin from Createteria. I'm going to show you how to keep track of your favorite blogs. There are a lot of ways to achieve this, but the one I like most is to have my favorite blogs automatically brought into my Google homepage. So if you don't use Google as some, in some way, shape, or form as your homepage, this is maybe not the best solution for you. Uh, and we'll post some other videos in the future showing different ways to keep track of, of your favorite blogs. But for now, I just want to show you how to very quickly, very easily add your favorite blog's content into your Google homepage. So when you log in in the morning, you've got a chance to just quickly scan those new blogs and see if there's anything you want to investigate further or read or share. So you can use any browser, doesn't matter if you use Safari or Chrome, or in, in my case, I'm going to show you with Firefox. So we'll go down here to Firefox and we'll go right to my home page, which is iGoogle. Um, and you'll see that there are all the different areas, all the different content areas with, with data. Like top left here, we've got the weather in Portland, which is rainy and cold, which is not surprising. The way we're going to get our favorite blogs onto this is we're going to take advantage of something called RSS. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication, and most blogs have an RSS feed where they're aggregating that data and distilling it down, really, into the raw uh, uh, content, the, the headlines and the dates and the content of the article itself. So when you have a favorite blog that you like and you just don't have the time to go to every single one every day, but you still want to keep in touch with them and, and keep track of when there is new content, you're going to go and you're going to be looking for this icon. It may not be orange necessarily, depending on the blog's designer, but it will have the same graphic on it, which is the little circle here and the radio waves feeding out. So that's what we're going to be looking for. And I'm going to show you on Creativeteria's website. Uh, we've got it right here at the very top. I think it's a, a wonderful tool to use. So you go to your favorite blog. If you can find this icon, all you have to do is click on that. You click on that, it's going to open up a new window for you. And that is the actual RSS feed for that blog. You can see it's text only, it's very simple, it's just the content. You've got a drop down menu in the top left corner of your browser now where you can choose different options to subscribe to that feed. What we're talking about today is just adding it to your Google homepage, so you're going to drop it down, you're going to choose Google. Hit subscribe now, and you're going to come to this page which is going to say, well, there's two different, two different options. You can add to your homepage or you can use Google Reader. We'll save Google Reader for another video. For now, I just want you to click the button that says add it to Google homepage. Do that, it's going to take you to your, it's going to reload your home page. Now you'll see that Portland's weather has moved down, and in its place is this new blog content that I've just added using the RSS feed. You can customize this further by clicking this little button up here. You can go to edit settings. You could change whether or not you want to see a little more of the content beyond just the headline. I like the headline only because I'm going to probably end up subscribing to a lot of blogs so I can just scan the headlines. So I'm going to leave it as headline only, but you could add in as many as you want, as many stories as you want. I'm going to just, I'll take four for purposes of changing this. Hit save, you're done. There it is. As you probably already know with Google, you can click and drag and move things around just by clicking in that gray area, you can move it. So if I wanted to put Portland's weather back to the top, which I don't know that I do, but I've done it anyway, it's as simple as that. So that's it. Thanks very much, and I hope you enjoy your RSS feeds on your Google homepage.